you've tuned into Catalyst Conversations. What's happening, family? I'm Ted Winsley. Welcome to Catalyst Convo, where there are conversations that create change. Hey, guys, I have, we have um, a very, very special um, presentation today. Uh, this is what we're calling our co presenting sponsor edition. Um, once again, guys, we're getting you set up for our Better Man 24. Somebody make some noise in the house for so Better Man 24. Woo! It's coming up. October 26th, uh, we've got um, men from all over the Delaware Valley. Converging businesses are actually coming to support us. Uh, NFL players, uh, it, it's, it's going to be bananas. Um, it's going to be amazing. So even this, uh, this very special presentation is to get you ready for what's coming. But today, guys, uh, as I said, I have some very special people um, to be a part of this very special presentation. Uh, as I said before, ladies first. So uh, <laughs> to my left uh, is the the president of Nuss Construction. Uh, she hails from Williamstown, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. She went graduated from Baptist Regional, graduated from Liberty University, holds a degree in human resources, management, early childhood education. education. Yeah. Uh, and did I say that she's the president of <laughs> Nuss Construction? Let's give it up for Chelsea Cooper. Hello. What's happening, Chelsea? Hi, how are you? Awesome. I'm excellent. I'm glad you're here. Uh, and uh, I have the esteemed pleasure to to introduce our other guests. Um, he has played in the NFL for third. Come on, somebody. Uh, that, that was on my heart all day. For 13, <laughs> I mean, like, that's that's not the average NFL career is three years. Yeah. He's played in the NFL for uh, 13 years. He's played on many, many teams. Uh, should I say that? Is it okay that I say many, many? That's the college. Only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, yeah, yeah. only a couple. He, yeah, yeah. Really. How many you play for? I've only played for four. Okay, hey, man. So hey, man. He's played years. for four teams <laughs> yeah. in his in his thirteen year uh, uh, season or, or uh, uh, career. Um, but guys, we know him as an Eagle great. He is our Super Bowl. Come on, make some noise. It's the only one we got. Mm. He's our Super Bowl champion. Come on, uh, Rodney. The real deal, McLeod. <laughs> Let's make some noise for Rodney. I appreciate you. <laughs> awesome, guys. So, so Rodney, we're so glad uh, that you're here, man. Thank you for saying yes and being a part of this. Absolutely. Awesome. So, so um, our theme for today, um, I'm excited about it. It's called Against All Odds. And uh, we've even talked about uh, or realizing that, guys, even just to be physically on the planet, you know, I don't know the statistics, probably, JP, you should have looked it up uh, in between takes, um, <laughs> but but just the, the statistics of literally making it on the planet uh, of all the different sperm and, and, and how many sperm it takes to get to the one egg and folks die and don't make it, and, and oftentimes uh, even um, there... We don't even have conception. Shout out to baby that's coming on the way. Oh, Amen. Sure. Come on, let's Very go. Nice. Um, but but even even that, realizing that just to be here, we have to make it against all odds. Mm -hmm. And so, um, likewise, to make an impact in life, to be able to live a life uh, where even people care, uh, or to live a life that actually causes people to care yeah. because you make an impact in their lives. In order to do that, guys, we have to go against all odds. Mm -hmm. So so that that's our theme today. Uh, and I, I've got two amazing people to have that conversation with. Uh, and I pray, the guys, that it encourages you, it locates you, um, you get inspired and encouraged to go against the odds mm -hmm. in order to be the best that you've been called to be. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, uh, I'm a pastor, and I'm a read the scripture. It's my show. Uh, also, we got two believers. Come on, make some noise in the amen, house. Amen. Uh, and they appreciate this as well. So here we go. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. I'm going to ask the two of you um, to kind of speak to the scripture um, from the perspective of where it takes you mentally um, and even give us a little backdrop of your story in uh, and just kind of sharing what it means to you. So Mark chapter 9, verse 23, um, this is a, a passage of scripture where literally there's a man who had a child um, who was born uh, in a condition where there wasn't a cure. Um, the scripture says that he actually took him everywhere. He took him even to the 12 disciples. Uh, the disciples couldn't heal him, couldn't help him. And then he finally comes to Jesus and he says to Jesus, Jesus, can you help me or help me if you can, you know, do something. And Jesus is so dope. He's cool and smooth. <laughs> Here's his response. Mark chapter 9, 23. He says, first of all, Jesus says, what do you mean? What do you mean if I can? It says, Jesus asks, here's the point, anything is possible if a person believes. Verse 24, here's what happened after that. The father instantly cried out, I do believe, 
but help me overcome my unbelief. Chelsea, yeah. talk to me. When, when you hear that scripture um, in the context of um, against all odds and even with the backdrop of your, your life and yeah. getting to where you are, talk to me. If you had told me eight years ago that this is what I'd be doing, I would have left you off. Yeah. If I'm quite honest. Uh-huh. I mean, just it's not your typical. Yeah. It's not the world that you see women in. Yeah. Let alone young women. Sure. Mm. Um, and so there was a lot of sleepless nights of just saying, God, I, you got to tell me what to do here. Wow. I don't know. I you'd, see that you'd, you're leading you would me this share way. with me, again, of course, you're a young yeah. lady, 31 years old. Come on. You went to school <laughs> with my daughter. Uh, yeah. Uh, I watched, probably watched you uh, playing basketball. Probably, yeah. Didn't know it. Um, <laughs> but, but, but again, so, so you're young, um, in the field. Your yeah. education um, wasn't even towards that, although yeah. your experience is. Yeah. Um, and, and then, like I said, just even the, the stigma of, when people see you, mm-hmm. you're not what they expect. Go ahead. Oh, well, ain't that the truth? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I've worked for companies previously, previous construction companies, where I've practically been told that you don't belong here. Yeah. Women aren't supposed to be here, let alone someone who, at the time, I was 20 years old. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, going out on job sites and figuring out what's going on with someone's house and pricing that up for them and yeah. figuring out how to fix it for them and stuff. That was not, I was not the one they wanted to see. Wow. So there is a moment of going, oh, well, I do know how to do this. Sure. Let me show you. Yeah. Um, but it can be demeaning. Yeah. Mm. It can sit there and go like, all right, maybe I should just yeah. walk away from this mm-hmm. world, even though I enjoy it, even though I like it. Maybe it's just not where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's what led me towards education. Mm. Um, my grandmother... Uh, actually started a preschool and private elementary school down in Ariel. Yeah. Um, that's been open now for 40 years. Wow. So it was kind of like, all right, well, maybe that's... Sure. You know, maybe that's and the direction. Say, yeah, go, yeah that, like, go do that. That's what your grandmama did. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. like, your parents are involved in that. Yeah. Like, everybody, you know, your whole family's involved in that. Maybe that's where you belong type of deal. Um, and God just said, yeah. Abs, that's not where you're supposed to be. Wow. Um, and that was hard yeah. to talk about trusting God. I was completely uprooting everything I had been doing, everything yeah. I had worked for, um, and saying, okay, here we go. I like I it. don't know that I'm ready, but uh-huh. here we go. We're going to dive in and, and trust you the entire way. So good. All right, yeah. so put a, I'm going to put a button there because sure. we're going to come back because yeah. it's a whole lot you said. Um, Rodney, same thing. You know, when, when you hear that scripture, um, against all odds, we we had a you know I've had the opportunity to uh, be your chaplain for many years, um, but it was so dope when we talked because I, I learned stuff I didn't know about you. Mm-hmm. Um, you even shared you know if you won't mind even in sharing your story, uh, how old were your parents when you were born? Yeah, yeah, they were uh, seventeen wow. and yeah. what eighteen years old. Yeah, uh, yeah. When, you know when they had me. Uh, and that was 1990. Look, look. June 23rd. Uh, look, look. look, look. <laughs> this, this is Catalyst Conversation. We keep it a buck. And you was black. And I was black. Come on. Yeah. yeah. So, and, so, so take us from there. That yeah. scripture, your story, here you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, when I hear that scripture, you know, I hear my story yeah. and all of that, uh, mm-hmm. to be honest. I hear uh, belief. I hear trust. Yeah. I hear uh, walk in faith, not sight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because we don't know what tomorrow holds. Yeah. And that is my football journey. Yeah. To be quite frank. A little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, you, you know, for me. You were a second round draft pick. No. Don't, mm. You've been in the league for 13 mm. years? That's Come what, on, man. And that's what they would see me as today. Like yes. every time I tell my story yeah. and I and I explain the beginning, mm. right? Because it we all start from somewhere. Sure. And the beginning for me was. Yeah. Undrafted rookie, come on, out of Prince George's County, Maryland. Come on. You know, shout pay, out to Maryland. I, yeah, shout out to Maryland. Come <laughs> on, all the time, DMV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and graduate of University of Virginia. Mm-hmm. Uh, what captain? Yeah. Uh, played at the East West Shrine game. Gave yeah. me the opportunity to be able to uh, show my my talents. Did you in think a few you were gonna get drafted? Because we're, we're, the draft is this week. Yeah. Did you, do, were you sitting there with your shiny suit on, like it's going down? No, nah, there was con- <laughs> there was conversations. There was a possibility. Yeah. Uh, but there was no guarantees behind it. Yeah. And uh, I had this when they converted to the three day process, which it, which it is now. Yeah. And I remember my mom wanted to host a, a party for yeah. me, just to celebrate sure. my accomplishments yeah. and looking into the future. Uh-huh. 
And I really, I was not interested in having a party. Right. I wanted to keep things super yeah. low key. Yeah. Just because I, I wasn't in the same position as a first round, a second rounder, like yeah. that it was almost guaranteed that I would yeah. uh, hear my name called. Yeah. So uh, I did opt to, to do, to you know, mom knows best. So yeah. all the family gathered. Uh, we go all three days. I get a few calls. Uh, teams are pleading that they are interested mm -hmm. uh, and they're working, but nobody's willing to, uh, pull that so, trigger. Yeah. And to believe in to you. To believe yeah, in me. Think that you belong there. Right. Yeah, right. Talk about and some faith. Yeah. yeah. And, and especially so, your mom. Correct. God bless her. Correct. Yeah, it's and, awesome. And we get to the last day, uh, several picks the Rams have, and there's talks about me going there, and none of those picks were me. Wow. So now at the conclusion of that, I receive a call from Chuck Cecil, mm -hmm. uh, my DB coach, and he came to look at me at Virginia and was very impressed. Yeah. Came back to the office, raved about me. We need him in the building. He outlined what the, that room was going to look like. Mm -hmm. There's three safeties, veterans that are going to be on the team, and right. we're bringing in three more, uh, <laughs> three more as in, in your the same um, in the same class as you, you right? right? All right. undrafted, right? And so we got three people we want, yeah. And we're and there's three people, and three we're pretty much going to decide on. Right. Wow. And, and really, there's only two spots available out of that three. Oh wow! Sometimes Ooh. maybe even one. You don't know yeah, what sure. could happen. Yeah. And I bet it on myself. Mm. Um, I trusted. I trusted in God. Yeah. And I allow Him to put me in that position and direct me uh, to to that team. Yeah. And I end up making the team and made a long career um, out of something that, uh, that was was uncertain. was uncertain. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was only a possibility and only really an opportunity that was given to me. Uh, and through the grace of God, I, I stand before everybody yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, Super Bowl champion. A lot of That's accolades good. behind my name. Yeah. Walter Payton, Man of the Year. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Honoree That's right. That's and right. Alan yes, Page sir. Award winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very multifaceted yeah. individual. Uh, but did I see all of this coming? Yeah. Absolutely not. Uh, but like I said... There are a lot, were a lot of times that I had those inner conversations yeah. and I had to continue to believe in something which was him. Mm. And then he gave me the so strength good. to be able to believe in myself yeah. because everything else around me, the the the, the social, um, the world and, and, and the NFL and even people would tell you otherwise yeah. yep. to, to not believe that any of this is possible. Correct. Because the, the odds say only 1% make it. Come on. And you're probably below the odds at this point as an I'll, undrafted I'll individual. Forget. I don't know that stat. I'll never forget <laughs> undrafted. Troy Vincent, you know him. Yeah. He actually, I think, was the statistic that you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning yeah. than, oh than, <laughs> than playing in the NFL. Than playing in the NFL. And let alone 13 <laughs> yeah. years, Against right? Against all odds. Yeah. So, uh, Talk about well, 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 13 years, so you got a better chance of getting this struck 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it's nothing but God's plan. Yeah, He's yeah. really ordered my steps in, in every way of my life so and, good and when you just look, replay everything yeah. you're like so so look so so this is what we're gonna do because this is make some noise if you guys are being blessed by this why this is encourage y'all <laughs> come on jp say something dawn say something kyle <laughs> so here's guys what we're gonna do we're, we're gonna take a quick break uh and hear from one of our sponsors Sweet. uh we're in from our, our sponsors uh that's making all this happen and then we're gonna we're gonna get right back into this because you guys said some really amazing things that i want to dig into check this out for over 50 years nuss construction has focused on family first and giving back to our community that's why we are proud to support family matters daycare and the better man 24 conference if you are in south jersey consider us if you need a new bathroom kitchen or an addition to your existing home Protecting your family and making them more comfortable is one of our key focus points. Call today for a free consultation and discover the Nuss Construction Company difference. There's no greater reward than seeing someone through a difficult process and helping them to what often becomes their second chance. Real people with real problems don't choose law firms, they choose lawyers. For me, the best attorney for the situation was needed. If you're sincere about your freedom, I recommend you hire Timmy McCoy.
Did you know that your business is as unique as your fingerprint? Haddon Savings understands your business's unique financial needs and is here to help with a wide range of SBA loans and assistance. We also offer commercial real estate loans to leverage your equity. Use it to build, buy, refinance, expand, or remodel your business. Call us today to get individualized financial services tailored to fit your needs. Haddon Savings Bank, creating banking relationships since 1905. Welcome back to Catalyst Conversation. Make some noise, room. Is the room making some noise? Woo! Hey, hey guys, hopefully you've been with us. Um, this is, has just been an amazing conversation. We're talking about against all odds, and, and uh, I've got two amazing people, Chelsea Cooper, uh, Nuss Construction. Come on, make some noise. N Nuss is making it happen. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, I've got Rodney McLeod, Super Bowl champion, 13-year veteran, currently playing for the Cleveland Browns. Come on, Shadow, let's get a ring. Why not? Hey, let's get it. If y'all if y'all go, I want if y'all go, I want a ticket. I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah. No we, we do come back to Philly this year, so Ooh, we're gonna I, see y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, get to we that. Talk, we talk. Hey, man, I like that. <laughs> So, 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 guys, um, you know, prior to we kind of set the stage, we read out of Mark 9, 23, where Jesus was speaking to a man who, who was trying to overcome the odds. Um, and, and literally the conversation, Jesus says, what do you mean if, if I can believe? Jesus said, if anything is possible, if a person believes, and I love this, and here's where we're going to jump in. Mm -hmm. Then it says, then the father, he cried because something was going on on the inside of him. And something was happening around him. And he says, I do believe, he says, but help me overcome my unbelief. I think that's a perfect yeah. uh, segue into this next question, you know, um, as it relates to your careers, you know, where you are today. Um, what was the major inward obstacle, um, ask both of you, Chelsea, ladies first, sure. um, that you had to overcome in order to get to where you are today? I mean, I guess just belief in yourself. Yeah. Belief in and could you could you give me like a specific sure. scenario? Like, yeah. Yeah. So I remember, I yeah, like getting the phone call of saying, hey, we have this opportunity. Yeah. And I didn't see it coming. Yeah. For mm. us, it was not something that I was like, man, like. I, this is what I was going to do. Yeah. Um, you know, my husband and I and our two kids at the time lived in Philly. Wow. Um, and we it, we had to uproot and mm. move mm. to South back to South Jersey. Okay. Mm. He was born and raised in the Northeast, so he's been in Philly forever. Okay. For me to say, hey, you got to go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you don't do that. Um, so, so now your career is leading. Yeah, yeah. At this point, mm -hmm. yeah. Because um, he still works in the city. Yeah. So it was me saying to him, like, I kind of need you to trust me here. Yeah. I need you to trust that, like, we're doing this or I'm doing this to kind of better our lives and better our kids' lives yeah. and things like that. Um, but when you're sitting in that room by yourself at night and going, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, I could eat. This will make or break us. Mm. Am I strong enough to do this? And you realize, no, I'm not. Yeah. But with God's help and with sure. his guidance, and if yeah. this is really where he's leading me to go, yeah. then, yeah, it's the right call. So then I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. And so far, so good. So so no. the voice, so you yeah. had to overcome your voice oh, in a sense. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah that anxiety, yeah. that right. fear, that am I capable? Yeah. Am I the right person for this? Because mm. um, it's not just affecting me. Yeah. It's affecting my husband. It's affecting our right. two children. Yeah. Um, and then, like you said, your husband was like, baby, I'll go with you, but did you hear from it? Oh, yeah. He was like, are we? I am very blessed that I yeah. have probably the most supportive person. What's your husband's name? Planet. James. Shout out to James. <laughs> so I make some noise for James. So oh. I'm very blessed that I have the most supportive. That's awesome. Thanks that I walk on water type of guy. Dang. So. But um, I feel the he, same way about my wife. That's mm. good. I, I saw an opportunity. <laughs> Plus, she's in the room. Good. Give <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna echo. I'm gonna echo get, that. Get on that right now, Rodney. Come on, get you some of that. Shout out, Erica. Hey, uh, <laughs> um. So, but yeah, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you felt that too. Of like, so good. I didn't ever see myself being in that yeah. role yeah. of leading in that way but god did and god you had did. to overcome the voice of doubt yeah. to walk in yeah it. man it's right. scary <laughs> dj Kelly, dj and another one, yes, and another one. There you go. awesome come on get that up that was awesome so Rod rodney same question and and uh if you would kind of give me just like, like a particular scenario in your career where 
yo, uh, I had to overcome what was going on on the inside in order to beat the odds. Yeah, I would echo uh, yeah. what she said. Yeah. That was 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 running through my body is uh, self doubt, mm. uh, lack of confidence. Yeah, uh, you know, you I played this sport for since I was six, mm -hmm. and ultimately I probably been the best on my team yeah. every year. Correct. Uh, and, and then you're sitting there and nobody wants me. Correct. Yeah. And, and now you're starting to question everything that you've built and you've done yeah. up until that point, whether I'm good enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do I belong? Uh, and can I uh, keep up? Yeah. Right? With, with everyone who is currently on this platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because... The eyes that everybody else around me is is saying otherwise. Yeah. And how do you internalize that? How do how do you like pick yourself back up right. and, and and like continue to believe in the person who has grown from the year six up until age eighteen? Yeah. yeah. And been able to even put yourself in that position, mm. but you're so just focused on the present Correct. that you forget. Like, I'm here. I'm here. Right? <laughs> right. Like, and all done messed up. And there's power in yeah. how I arrived here. Correct. So I, I think, you know, we're, we're just so, we want the, the, you know, we get caught up just in the present moment of, yeah. of, of not necessarily getting what we want sure. at the time that we want. Mm -hmm. um, and that can alter our emotion, our response. Sure. And, you know, there are some people that, that uh, that moment will shatter them. Yeah. You know, everything. Yeah. Uh, you have others that may still hold on, but for how long? Sure. And then you got others that are going to, like, stare at the barrel and say, I dare you. Right. Right, and I, I was the, I was the, sure. I, I dare you. Yeah. Like I, I'm not, I'm not I'm going not to. I'm not playing like a, uh, uh, what's it called, undrafted. Yeah, free. I'm yeah. playing like I belong here. Right. Where's yeah. my starting spot? Exactly. Yeah. And that was that was. How many years? How many years did you start in the NFL? Uh, I've started uh, since year two. Come on, since that's year two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, shucks. The crazy part is, and and I wanted to say that because that's important for those of you who don't know football. There are people who have been first round picks drafted yeah. and never started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let alone you weren't you weren't even uh, you weren't drafted, and it took you two years to secure your spot, mm -hmm. and it's a wrap. Yeah. yeah so. But but honestly, the 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 confidence because you we need that in order to succeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. In all of our careers, Correct. not just you know football. Yeah. That confidence, it, you, when you exude yeah. confidence and mm -hmm. you know you feel good, yeah. you play good, you yes. come in, walk it, like it, <laughs> it just changes your overall feed off that emotion. Yeah. And people, people feed, yeah. You and they feed. feel, yeah, they, they do. feel the energy. Sure. So uh, I think that was yeah. something that was hmm. almost stripped away from me. Yeah. And, you know, it was, again, while we're all at this conversation through God that yeah. I was able to prevail. So good. And, you know, Staying tall, yeah, uh, and remain confident in who I truly was, and and, and not uh, steer into a different direction. Correct. Now, yeah. so good. Give it up, y'all. So, so, so here's the the back part of that question, and and we're we're gonna be closing soon, because um, again, in the scripture, uh, Jesus said, "Look, man, if you could believe, all things are possible." And he said, "I believe." With tears, but then he said, but help my unbelief. And mm -hmm. so yeah. you guys shared that uh, you had to first overcome the voice on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, now let's talk about the exterior um, obstacles, the exterior um, things that were telling you that, you know, against the odds. So so what, if, if you can think about in your entire career, what was the, the major exterior <laughs> obstacle that you had to overcome to get where you are today? I guess for me, it would be being a woman and being young in such a man's world. Love it. Yeah. I mean, it just is. The Three reality things is, you couldn't control. Yeah. The things that I don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have no control Super, over uh, and just kind of yeah. here, deal with it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just the reality. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, it's a world I grew up in. It's yeah. a world I can handle. Love I'm it. not scared to stand up for myself at yeah. all. Mm -hmm. um, but when you have someone who's been in that industry for 20 years, look you dead in the eye and say, you don't belong here. Yeah. Mm. You shouldn't be here. Um, 
that can really say that can really <laughs> that can really put you down. And I like it. You and I spoke uh, before Rodney came in, and I share with you that that even you know I was I was a young preacher. Yeah. Um, that when I was a young preacher, people would say to me, you know, boy, I got shoes as old as you. Oh yeah. And then my response was, well, you got some old shoes, you know. Perfect response. And, and, and so, like you said, you know, um, realizing that when people had a problem. It was their problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. Not yours. Yeah. I mean, if I'm out there and I'm working just as hard as you are, mm -hmm. if I'm putting my whole heart into this just the way that you are. Yeah. And I'm proving myself. Come on. There should be no reason for for that type of commentary, yeah. that mm. type of putting somebody down. Yeah. Mm. Um, we are big into encouraging our guys and mm. encouraging the people that we work with. Yeah. Um, and just making people feel good. Are you hiring that nuts construction? Worthy. I, well, we can find some room if we need Not to. Not for me. I'm just saying, <laughs> just shout out for anybody at Nuts yeah, Construction. This sounds like an amazing place to work. Amen. So, yeah, yeah so it's awesome. really just figuring yeah. out how to not let people get to you. And I'm so sure good. you know, man. No, no, you, no. You yeah, played yeah, in yeah, Philly. Yeah. They yeah. Did. Oh, right. I'm sure you have heard so, it. So, let's, so. so that was a good. Everything. You, 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 you like that one? You're trying to take my spot. That was right a great there, segue. Yeah. So, she gave so, it. So, she did. I'm going to get it. So, <laughs> so having said that, Rodney, that was great. Thank you. Yeah, um, of course. Chelsea, um, from your perspective, what what was the greatest um, external obstacle? Was it an injury? Was it was it being in Philly? Like, what was the thing that you had to like? I had to. I got to overcome this thing, and if I don't, I, I won't make it to my dream. Social pressures. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you uh, arrive to to where I am. Yeah. Uh, with the amount of money, mm -hmm. it's it's publicized. Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows exactly yeah, who you are. Side note: That is kind of crazy that <laughs> that you're in a profession where somebody say, "Let me see how much Rodney making." Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, and that's not even real, right? You and I yeah. know that. Correct. Yes. Uh, and so. What comes with that are just those expectations from yeah. those around you, strangers, yeah. Uh, yeah. imposters, everybody that you can think of yeah. now wants to be a part of your life. Sure. Uh, and how do wow. you defend mm. all of those, yeah. um, you know, uh, actors, I right. guess you would say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who's real? Who's not? Yep. Who's for you mm -hmm. and 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 genuinely for you right. for who you are yeah. and not what you do. So good. And for me, that wow. was that was the the toughest battle. Yeah. Because it the longer you stay in, the more people want to park. Correct. Right. Yep. The more money you make, sure. more problems. Right. Yeah, we know the biggie absolutely. line. Come on, biggie. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's what I had to 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 fight and not allow those pressures to transform mm. who I am. Yes. So good. Um, mm. And trying to remain my authentic self. Yeah. And I think the way that I've been able to combat mm -hmm. that is keeping those around me, keeping my support system yep. and my tribe tight. So we're going to ask you. Uh, yep. And, you know, that starts with lady at home, right? Yeah. My mm -hmm. wife, mm -hmm. she was with me before I was, you know what I'm saying? Come on, before. man. Before. Right. And Come that on. that's huge in itself, knowing that she loves me yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, and that gives me confidence, and it's also a reminder mm -hmm. of where I've come from. Uh, and then my friend circle. I still mm -hmm. roll with the same guys from high school. Day one, day one. Uh, yeah, and, and that's sure. rare. Sometimes you find... Guys will make new friends along the way. There's Correct. nothing wrong with that. New money, because new money. You, you feel <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, right, you want right. new environment. Correct. You yeah. want new luxury. Yes. Yep. But for me, I like the old. Correct. That's my foundation. Yeah. That's my mm -hmm. roots. That's good. So it's always a reminder: remain close to home. Yeah. Reminder of like where you begin. Yeah. And that has allowed me to um, be able to withstand. Mm. You know any Absolutely. of the any of the pressures Absolutely. both. Absolutely, yeah. You know we in right. the paint, right? Right. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. I've been in, I've been in the paint fighting off. So um, and you know along the way, you 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 are fooled. Mm. But um, like I said, that that's has good. still allowed me to stand strong and remain myself. And that's what I'm most proud of. Yeah. Everybody that knows me is like I'm still riding same, same ride. Yeah, that I know. It's important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, just got a little a little nicer thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. bit, but uh, yeah. Fly but whip, I, but, but I'm still, I still when yeah, I get out. I'm still coming back <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, to the community uh, and, and blessing them with my presence, and I'll never forget that. Let's give it up. Awesome. For over 50 years, Nuss Construction has focused on family first and giving back to our community. That's why we are proud to support Family Matters Daycare and the Better Man 24 Conference. If you are in South Jersey, consider us if you need a new bathroom, kitchen, or an addition to your existing home. 
Protecting your family and making them more comfortable is one of our key focus points. Call today for a free consultation and discover the Nuss Construction Company difference. Did you know that your business is as unique as your fingerprint? Haddon Savings understands your business's unique financial needs and is here to help with a wide range of SBA loans and assistance. We also offer commercial real estate loans to leverage your equity. Use it to build, buy, refinance, expand, or remodel your business. Call us today to get individualized financial services tailored to fit your needs. Haddon Savings Bank, creating banking relationships since 1905. In Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, there's a slightly slower pace of living. That's also where you'll find the home of Stoltz Fish Structures, where quality, integrity, and world-class customer service are more than just a way to do business. It's a way of life. From our humble beginning over 40 years ago in a small building to the modern 65,000 square foot facility of today, we've remained at the forefront of our industry everything from gazebos and sheds to garages and pergolas and everything in between awesome all right guys so so in closing um i just want to ask you a final question um people are watching uh of course this is this is geared towards men but the ladies yeah. is watching too so okay. so, so you're, you're you're our first lady on the show and i, I, I think honored. it's pretty I'll dope take amen it. it's, it's dope it's an achievement another amen. man's world you on, know? that's I'm right for it. but it would be nothing without a woman or a girl couldn't, be, couldn't be more Shout true james brown <laughs> so 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 here's the final question because <laughs> some of y'all thought that was scripture um, <laughs> well, final question and that's this um People are watching, and they're they're going up against their odds. Mm -hmm. um, what would be if if you just had one thing to encourage somebody that um, is in in the situation that this man was in, and he came to Jesus? Because again, it's it's crazy that even after Jesus gave him the answer, he cried because yeah. he's like, man, you know, I believe you, but I still help my unbelief. Yep. So, um, what would be your 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 um, advice or encouragement to somebody that's watching this and they're looking at their odds, what would you say to them? Um, I would say trust not only God's plan, but his time mm. and his timing. You was listening to my sermon too. I listened to lots of sermons. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Oh, no, so, great. Yeah, so I would, yeah, trust in God's time. time. I mean, as we know, our that's time cool. and God's time yeah. is completely different. Sure. Mm. But, Everything happens in his time yeah. to manifest his plan for cool. you. So, yeah, I mean, just so trusting in his time. Come yeah. on, shout out Absolutely. to that, everybody. That's good. <laughs> awesome. All right, you got to go after we, that, Rodney. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I, I'm not, I'm going to let her uh, have that, have that point. Uh, I would say, more importantly, run your own race. Mm, that's good. Uh, I think we yeah. ultimately get distracted with everything around us okay um the things i spoke about the the social pressures the um looking alongside of us to see uh how far that person mm -hmm. you know uh where they are in their career yeah. at that point in time she alluded to timing yeah it's all that that's what it's all about but you have to stay the course you have to trust your process right that that philly that sixers right. uh, line right <laughs> sure. trusting your yeah. process the the preparation yourself sure. Um, it's like it's like a horse in that race, man. They have blinders on for a reason. Mm. You know, you just want to stare straight ahead mm -hmm. at your race because it, it, it's yours. Yes. Um, and because also, if they step outside the lines, they disqualify. They disqualify, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And so you get too distracted looking side to side, and next thing you know, a lot of people are past you more than you would you would think. Correct. So yep. how do you focus on self? So good. And build yourself up yeah. and allow yourself to thrive, mm -hmm. push forward, mm -hmm. no matter what comes in front of you. Because, like you said, mm -hmm. you step outside the lines, you disqualify. You don't see that rock right there, you fall. Jangle. Right? So <laughs> yeah. keep your eyes forward, run your own race, um, and push through and get to that finish line. Let's go. Come on, Catalyst Conversation. Uh, we Today, guys, we were talking about Against All Odds. Chelsea Cooper, Nuss Construction, Rodney McLeod. You're still a Philadelphia Eagle, although you are with 
the Cleveland Browns. Uh, hey, guys, I pray that you guys were blessed by this. Um, once again, uh, we are preparing for the Better Man 24, October 26th. It's going to be amazing. Um, you'll begin to see registration um, coming up really soon. Everybody hop on. Once again, thank you for being uh, one of our co-presenting sponsors. Absolutely. Thank you, Rodney, for just being who you are, uh, confidant, um, mentor, mentee, all that good stuff, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and just everything that that uh, that you guys have given towards this. And so, guys, we'll see you next time on Catalyst Convo for conversations that cause change. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.